What's going on guys? We're going to learn about three different types of lists in this tutorial. Unordered list, ordered list, and descriptive list as you can see here. So strap in and enjoy. What's going on guys? Welcome to this tutorial. I know so many of you guys have been waiting for this tutorial. Uh, we learn about tables, paragraphs, images, links, all the necessity stuff for a website. But you've been waiting for list, learning about lists so you can create that epic website about what you need to buy at the grocery store. And the thing is, there's only about three different types of lists in HTML. Um, there's an unordered list, so that's UL, unordered list. Uh, there's also an ordered list. This is when you actually have a priority of the things that you're listing out. And lastly, there's also a descriptive list. Um, I don't generally use descriptive list all that often, but I'd show it in this tutorial uh, just so you know about it. You don't have to type out the whole word. Um, it won't actually work if you type out the whole word, but it's kind of unfamiliar to see UL and get fam um, and know what that means. Just off the top of your head, you're like, what is that? So if you're taking notes, I'd, I'd just type out these three types of lists and take a note about it. Um, unordered list, ordered list, and descriptive list. There's one other thing that we can do in HTML is leave a comment. So how you do that is just a, an exclamation mark, dash dash, and then you can leave a comment here. So we can do unordered, and then you just do a dash dash, uh, and then close off that tag. So this won't actually show up on our website, but it's a way to take notes or give other programmers an idea of what uh, this is and obviously this isn't probably the best uh, type of comments you want to leave but I'd show it in this tutorial just so you're familiar with it if you see other code you'll be like oh yeah it's just a comment um, so uh, let's just go ahead and leave a comment for all three of these okay so now how do we add items to our list well this first one is going to be a grocery store list so let's give that an h4 h5 um, header and we're just going to say grocery list. So let's open this up. And how do we add items to our list? Well, with list items. So that's going to be the same for both uh, unordered list and ordered list. They're all going to be list items. So let's go to the grocery store. And what do we want to buy? How about some strawberry toaster strudels? Perfect. So we have added one item to our list. Let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it below um, and add some more items to our list. So what else do we get at the grocery store? Well, we also get cherry toaster strudels. I don't know, is there grape toaster strudels? I don't know, but if there is, I'm definitely getting some. So there we have our list. Let's go back to our site and see how an, or an unordered list looks like. So as you can see, it's just bulletin points. It's just something very basic. It doesn't really describe the order of our list is just like, hey, here's a list of a bunch of junk. So now let's say we actually have a, a precedence of the list items. So for example, we want to go into the grocery store, but the grocery store is only going to allow us to buy two items at a time because they're being real dicks. So we actually want to have an order to our list saying, hey, I can only get two items. So let's just get the most important item. So if we save this and go back to our site and refresh, now we have numbers on our list. So if they only allow us two items, we probably aren't gonna pick up the grape toaster strudels, even though we should move that to number one because I bet it would be awesome. We can also do nesting. So for example, if we wanted to nest these lists, I could go ahead and just uh, nest everything. And this will look something like this. Uh, so if we had different um, obviously this doesn't really make sense in this example but we could nest different lists within each other and it would tab it in a little bit more uh, so that's a nice thing to know as well something else that we can do with ordered lists is say hey we don't actually like these numbers let's change that up to be letters instead so we do that with something called a type attribute for a list so we're going to type out type and there's a few different types we can do numbers so how you do numbers is just put one there and that will be like okay this is uh, numbers just like we just saw but we can also do like lowercase letters so this will be a lowercase a b c or d um, or we could do uppercase letters and you just do that by an uppercase a as the type i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste this one um, or the type for this original ordered list to be something that has roman numerals so you do that you do that with either a lowercase i for lowercase uh, roman numbers 
or an uppercase I. So if we refresh this page, as you can see, we have Roman numerals that are uppercase over here and uppercase letters. Again, those are the four different types um, or five different types, either numbers, again, that's a one, uh, Roman numerals that are uppercase, Roman numerals that are lowercase, that's either a lowercase I or an uppercase I, or a lowercase A or an uppercase A for um, letters. The last type of list is a little bit different because it's a descriptive list. So a descriptive list is gonna be pretty much the same, but it won't have bulletin points, it won't have anything uh, next to it. There's no order to it, it's just kind of describing what things are. And instead of list items within a descriptive list, it's a little bit different. It's a DT um, for a descriptive term or descriptive tag. Uh, so we're gonna close that out. And this is just gonna be kind of your term that you're using so again these are kind of things that you might just have to take notes on for now and then as you get familiar and start using them it's gonna set in and you'll be like oh yeah I know descriptive lists use descriptive terms and descriptive uh, descriptions so the other one is DD descriptive descriptions so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it a couple times save this go back to our page uh, reload it's just something like that just kind of a term and it kind of describes it so this could be like a dictionary where you have a word and then the actual description of what that word means uh, that's kind of when you'd use a descriptive list um, but you can also do the same thing with one of these other lists and then change it within CSS to remove the bulletin point or uh, style it different to make it look how you want but that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys I know it's kind of a monkey see monkey do tutorial but I just want to get you guys familiar with all the different attributes of HTML so when we start coding our real site you're gonna be like oh I'm familiar with that I kind of forget how to do list I apologize probably half you checked your phone right there um, I'm just gonna shut that off my bad um, but you're familiar with all these different attributes so when we actually start coding you'll be like okay I know exactly uh, what that is I kind of forget the structure but I'm familiar with it so I don't have to describe how to create a list in the future so just get through these first like 10 or so tutorials then we're gonna start uh, actually doing some real work but thanks guys for watching please subscribe please share these videos the number one way you can help us is sharing these videos with your friends your family and social media uh, you can also donate if you like but thanks guys and I hope you enjoy the tutorial I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial have a good day